Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a first impressions video for you guys. Um, I'm testing out a couple different new products. I could not wait to get them on my face. So I'm not doing a full review. I am literally just testing them out for the first time on camera. So really excited to do that. Um, but before we get started, if you guys are not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that button down below. I normally post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and I'm going to have those all linked down below for you guys. So if you guys want to see all the new products that I am testing out, then just keep watching. All right. So I went ahead and already started my eyes because um, this is not a really new palette on the market but I just got it tonight and I wanted to go ahead and play in it so I went ahead and I picked up the lemonade uh, palette from Dominique Cosmetics and my collections complete <laughs> I have all three but I love it so we <sighs> Let's see, so the couple things that I'm gonna be testing out in this video, of course you guys know, I'm gonna be doing the Fenty Beauty Concealers. I do have two of them. If you've watched my Instagram stories or my um, Snapchat stories, um, I did go to two different Sephora's. So two different people actually helped um, match my concealer, so we're gonna see which one was right. I kind of want to try out a new foundation. This is like a new primer. I've never used a dip brow before, so I'm going to try this out and hopefully it doesn't mess up everything. Um, so just a couple different new things. Oh, and I actually received this from Influencer. Um, so this is the Kaja. I, I, I'm assuming that's how you say the name. Uh, so this is their little heart blush stamp. It is so cute so we're gonna give that a go so this is the wander glow from charlotte tailberry it says it's instant soft focus beauty 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 flash <gasps> Ooh, it just popped right out all right oh my goodness it's got like a little gold shimmer finish to it so smells so good you guys oh my gosh this smells so good <sighs> like a little piece of heaven <laughs> I don't even want to put a foundation on now because it smells so good <sighs> it feels good too Ooh, that's really soft Wow Wow <laughs> Okay, so I am testing out a new shade in the Makeup Forever Ultra HD um, foundation. This is actually just a little sample. Um, I do have the full size. However, it is my summer shade and it's just too dark for winter. So I'm hoping that this will be my new winter color. Uh, this one is in the shade Y225. let me say that I love the shade I love this foundation just because of the fact it gives like a natural finish and it just makes my skin look so beautiful um so yeah I really really like the color of this I think it's actually coming off a little bit lighter on camera than it is in person this in person this is absolutely a perfect match to my neck so really really happy with that Okay, so this dip brow pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills, 
I've been intrigued. I do have a lot of brow hairs, so I don't know if this will even necessarily work for me. I usually use um, pencils. So the shades that I have are medium brown, chocolate, dark brown, and I'm normally in the shade dark brown, So, I'm, but I think I'm gonna try the shade medium brown. Oh, well, no, dark brown it is, because I just popped it open. Ah! Okay. Like I said, I have never, ever used this before, so please, oh my God, bear with me. I'm so scared. Actually, yeah. <laughs> So aside from getting it too low, like right here, um, I actually kind of like it. I like the fact um, that it's more coverage for my brow. Um, usually if I use a pencil, there's like all kinds of little bald spots, but okay, I'm going to finish the other one off camera and I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Very, very bold, very, very dark brows. So now I don't know if you, if I don't know if I said it earlier, but the reason I went ahead with the dark brown was because it actually just happened to pop open um, when I was trying to tear them apart. So I didn't want to waste it. And obviously it's very, very dark, especially for my hair color. Um, but yeah, I kind of wish that they could make these resellable. So um, as you can see, I still got plenty of product left. So um, I wish this was like a reusable sample and not just tear it open and you're done. Getting to what I'm sure you guys are most curious about. Um, I have my Fenty Beauty concealers. Okay, so the first Sephora I went to, um, I had someone match me and they chose the shade 170. Um, this is the one I did not quite agree with, but I went ahead and got it. And I have like, you know, I have like three Sephora's around me. So I went ahead to the second one. Um, and the other person who has matched me for my foundation before, uh, was able to match me for my concealer. Um, I think he does an excellent job. Um, and he shade matched me in the color 185. So I figured, what the heck, let's go ahead and do both. So I'm going to do 170 for this side, 185 for this side, and we will see which one is better for my skin. Um, I also picked up the Sephora uh color corrector so at the second sephora he actually used this um underneath the fenty beauty concealer this is my first time using this as well whatever he did it looked good so i want to replicate that <laughs> Okay, so uh, the box for the Fenty Beauty Concealer looks just like this. Um, it comes in a packaging just like the foundation does. I really like the way that this feels. It is lightweight, but it doesn't feel cheap. Um, now, I do normally use my Tarte Shape Tape. So you get eight milliliters with the Fenty Beauty Concealer. This runs for $26. Um, and then for the Shape Tape, Shape Tape is $27. You get 10 milliliters. So you do get a little bit more for your money. 
um, with the shape tape, but that's not really really a big deal to me because I only have to use a little bit for my under eyes because I do have more mature eyes, so I can actually make this last quite for quite some time. So starting off with the shade 170. So this is your applicator right here. It is flat on both sides, so I really enjoy that. and hair is 185 um, first of all let me say that the coverage on this concealer whoo <laughs> it is so good um, this is going to be amazing for the days which are most days that I do not get sleep and I have those dark circles under my eyes like it is just Wow I'm impressed so this is supposed to be instant photo soft coverage for all. Long wear, light as air, crease proof. So, uh, first impressions, it felt so good going on. It does not feel heavy. Um, that whole light as air claim is spot on. It With my shape tape, I really just feel like there's just a whole bunch underneath my eye. Um, it does the trick, but I do feel it. Now, with this, I like the way it feels. I like the way it looks. Um, I actually can't decide which side I like most. Um, I don't know. I would really have to see under the sunlight uh, which shade I would go with. What do you guys think? Do you guys like this side more or do you like this side more? Can you tell the difference? <laughs> I don't even know if I can. So I'm actually just gonna give you a swatch. Um, okay, so the shade 170 is for light skin with cool undertones. Um, I actually have warm undertones, so that's interesting. So that is the swatch for 170. And for 185, 185 says it is uh, for light to medium skin with warm yellow undertones. Now, it was actually kind of funny because 185 um, is actually lighter than 180. I tried one, uh, we tried 180 and 180 was too dark. So 185 was lighter. Um, so this is your 185 right here. Uh, so what I'm going to do really fast is I'm going to finish my eye look and I will be right back and we can test out the blush. Okay, so I am back. Oh my gosh, these lashes gave me such a hard time. It's like my fourth or fifth time trying to get these bad boys on. Mm. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the blush oh my gosh it is like a cream blush stamp I am so nervous okay now obviously um, I'm not gonna want to just take the whole heart and dab it on my face because that would just be way too much so what I'm going to do is obviously I am going to stamp it but I'm going to stamp like just a little bit and then try and blend it out with my brush so Oh my God, wish me luck. <laughs>
not as bad as I was anticipating, so that's kind of cool. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this off with my new Fenty Beauty lip gloss in the color Fussy. I love this lip gloss. Her lip glosses are just so amazing. Alright you guys, so that is it. Let's just kind of quickly go over everything really fast. Um, I actually really like this blush. I was a little bit intimidated at first um, just because of the fact, number one, that you got this huge heart sponge. Um, that was a little intimidating. The fact that it was kind of like a liquid blush. So that, it just, I've never used anything like this before. So it really made me nervous. But in all in all, the color is really beautiful. As long as you kind of tap it on and blend it out, I think it's a really nice product. As far as my brows go, oh my god. I don't know if maybe if it was a lighter shade, if I would like them or not. Uh, if, I, or if I would like the brow pomade or not. But... I don't know. You guys, you're going to have to tell me what you think. Because I've never used that before. I've never used that before and I just I don't know maybe like I said maybe it's just the color that's throwing me off I don't know the more I look at it the more I like it <laughs> isn't that crazy okay so for the concealer you guys this concealer is so bomb like whoo I have never seen my under eyes look this good like for real even my shape tape doesn't do what this is doing right now like this is just a first impressions i haven't been out and about and running errands and everything else but just by looking at it right now they look so smooth underneath my eyes i'm really really excited for that so testing out of course this color and foundation i love this foundation it's one of my favorites um, I actually really enjoy this shade, so I think this could definitely be one of my winter shades. Very, very happy and excited to have tried that out. And of course, even if this is not new on the market, there's plenty of reviews up. Guys, I really like how my look turned out. This is absolutely beautiful. Um, and let me just say, this mango shade right here, oh my gosh, it's got to be one of the best yellows I've worked with when I first put it on it blended so beautifully I was just like I want more I want more <laughs> it really was beautiful and this was really really easy to create uh, this look with so if you guys want to see a tutorial on how I created this eye look then just let me know down in the comments below now as far as this primer goes I am so scared to even see what the full cost of this is because it is Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury is a very expensive brand, but I received this in I think of one of my Sephora plays. So I was able to test it out. The smell is incredible. Oh gosh, the way it goes on on the face is like butter. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I did before I applied this I did apply a little bit of my no pore problem just right here and right in here um, but other than that I really like how it made my foundation look now I've never done a really first impressions video before so I hope this wasn't too all over the place I was just really excited to get the Fenty Beauty concealer and I really just wanted to test it out and see what it looked like um, I know if anybody was going to knock it out of the park, it definitely would be Rihanna. Her foundation is absolutely amazing. Her lip glosses are amazing. I love her foundation brush. She is doing a fantastic job with her brand and I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to have a hard time picking out my concealer. Um, now looking at it, I think I prefer this side more. I know I said earlier it was this side, but now I think I like this side better. Um, but once again, I'm going to have to test it out, go out into the sunlight and see what I think then. So <laughs> with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up for me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.